Hello, everyone, and welcome back. I on Health Now, Buffalo Bill Safety 24 year old Damar Hamlin's on field collapse raised many questions about cardiac events and CPR. And it turns out, according to the American Heart Association, 350,000 Americans die every year from sudden cardiac arrest. And the group says that immediate CPR nearly triples survival rates, but only 46% of people experience cardiac arrest and get CPR before medical help arrives. And joining us now is Dr. Santini. Kreja, he's with St. Mary's Medical Center, cardiologist there, and thank you so much for joining us, doctor. You know, it's, it's safe to say that you really don't have to be a medical professional to really help out before EMS arrives. No, you don't, because ever since the American Heart Association adopted hands-only uh, CPR, mm -hmm. anybody and everybody, even the sixth graders, uh, they have tried a project to start on that, to be trained for this. And as far as signs, let's begin with that, right? Doctor, how do you know someone is uh, experiencing cardiac arrest? So most times when we are talking about bystander CPR, it's you have actually witnessed somebody suddenly collapsing. Many times it's very hard to discern for them to the cause of that cardiac arrest. But again, the uh, pathway is the same. You have to start the CPR um, and you see them suddenly collapse. And mm -hmm. since 7 out of 10 are happening at home, chances are very high that it's actually one of your friends or family members. Right. So you know that this, they, have, they have collapsed and when you talk to them and they don't respond, it's a cardiac arrest. And I kind of want to talk about here because that conversation has been going on for weeks now with the incident with Damar Hamlet. He was just 24 years old. I guess is, is that uncommon or is that common, especially for such a young age? Different uh, causes. In mm -hmm. the younger uh, athletes or younger patients, it's absolutely different causes. More with the structure of the heart, the electrical system, mm -hmm. uh, but we don't know about it. But as we grow older, blockage in the artery turns out to be the commonest cause and that could be the cause but in a younger patients we don't know what was the reason in his case but right. when a famous football player soccer player in Europe had uh, collapsed they had did find the reasons on the workup okay let's talk about hands-on CPR help uh, we want to talk about the prop that you uh, brought here today if you could just demonstrate for us and how yeah. that step by step we do we created a platform here for him to step up and show exact us to, mm -hmm. for proper technique right yeah so the first thing is if you see somebody suddenly collapse uh, or if it's in the place where you don't work or don't know or at home so the first thing is actually to ch the three C's that has been created by the International Committee is to check is to ask them uh, sir ma'am are you okay and they don't answer Sure. So the next thing right away is to call second C, call 911. For two reasons, is to call 911, put them on the speakerphone, and put them right there so they can answer. And you can talk to them for two reasons. One, um, the experts, the EMS, are on their way. Second, uh, this is a very stressful situation, and uh, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. The 911. I know who I call the 911 angels are with you. They will walk you through this, uh, so you are not alone in this immensely stressful situation of likely a family member. Right. And then once that's done and they're on, you put your hand then to start the compressions. The heel right over here, right in the, the lower right one-third. Yep, the heel, lower one-third. You put it here, grasp, and then start fast. The rate recommended is 100 to 120 times a minute. And elbow straight, shoulder on top. Just continue uh, with those compressions and actually the American Heart Association recommends patients ask me, how do I know? Right. I can't count at that time. Yes, they say the beat of staying alive right. is the one that should play in the back. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh. So staying alive actually philosophically is stay alive, right? right. So whatever way you stand philosophically, mm. either you are praying stay alive or soothsaying. Right, Pray, right. stay alive. Just to be clear, exactly where do you put this? Uh, just Lower one third. Okay. Lower one third. This is the structure which is going to move. Mm -hmm. This holds. Shoulders on top, elbows straight, so you can give full compression. Right. Problem occurs either with people overlean when you can't, right. or 
you can't give the full force. Well, this is so good, too, to know. And you mentioned it earlier that you're on the phone with 911, and the dispatcher can walk you along. That Absolutely. It's so good. And I feel like as young as how early can, I, I'm sure, students are going through these uh, classes, how, uh, as far as age-wise, uh, when is the proper age to, to learn this? They have actually, the American Heart Association has, in 34 states, started pilot program. Sixth graders were Sixth started graders. to. Amazing, so that, It's an amazing uh, mm -hmm. thing for everybody to learn, and then on, each one, teach one. Dr. Kutasia with uh, St. Mary's Medical Center Cardiology, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so and much for now, having me over here.